Good morning, everyone. Ohayo gozaimasu, and aloha. Thank you for being here to commem commemorate together the passing of the Buddha, known as his Pari Nirvana, or Nehang-e in Japanese, or Nehang. Many narratives about the Buddha's life have been written from a male point of view. Okay. To honor the women in the Buddha's life, I decided to try to write something from a woman's point of view, specifically from the perspective of, of the Buddha's mother, Queen Maya, also known as Maha Maya or Maya Devi. Looking at Daifukuji's Nirvana scroll, the Nehan Zhu, I noticed a red bag caught in the high branches of one of the saw trees. A bag thought to have contained medicinal herbs flung down from the Tushita heaven by the Buddha's mother in an effort to alleviate her son's pain and save him. In some scrolls, one sees in the upper right-hand corner, but not in ours, one sees Mahamaya descending on clouds, weeping at the time of the Buddha's Parinirvana. My intention is to turn this narrative into a song for the purpose of teaching the children of the temple's Dharma Kiki program the story of the Buddha's life. So these are the words of the Buddha's mother Maha Maya. Before you were born, my son, an elephant appeared in my dream. Out of the sky it came to me, shining white, pure and bright, an elephant of light. Closer and closer it came until I could feel its tusks. It was kind, it was calm shining white, pure and bright, an elephant of light. Waking up from this dream, I knew that good things would come. It was you, my dream come true. I would be blessed with a son. I would be blessed with a son. The months went by, the time had come to travel to my family home. Your birth was near. My purpose clear, my journey had begun. Oh, I remember, I remember the joy that blossomed in my heart, a mother's love so deep and strong. I long to hold you in my arms. I long to hold you in my arms. The sky was blue, the air was fresh. I stopped in a garden to rest. And then it came, the pangs of birth, and I could not travel on. I could not travel on. Flowers bloomed all around in this garden called Lumini. I bore the pain that mothers bear, the pain of mothers everywhere. A tree let down its bough for me. I held onto it tightly. Amid the waves of pain, I stood, praying for you, your safe delivery. And with a cry, you were born, an infant boy, healthy and strong, with one arm up and one arm down. You pointed to the sky and ground. You pointed to the sky and ground. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, my child. Your eyes are wide, your skin is clear, and light is shining everywhere. The king rejoiced, the people cried, a prince is born, a prince is born. Seeing signs glorious and rare, a hermit <coughs> left his mountain. A hermit left this mountain. My heart was full of mother light. I gasped in wonder when I held you. The hermit came and then he cried. 
when he laid his eyes upon you, when he laid his eyes upon you. No ordinary child is this, cried Asita, bent with age. Alas, I shall not live to see this child become the man he'll be. This child become the man he'll be. Siddhartha, sweet Siddhartha, your birth fulfilled my deepest wish. I vow to love you and protect you for as long as I live, for as long as I live. Yet from this world, I had to leave <coughs> just seven days after your birth. Holding you against my breast, I called out to my sister. I called out to my sister. Prajapati, sister dear, I beseech you to please take care of Siddhartha, my little son, who needs your love from this day on, who needs your love from this day on. In Tusita I will dwell in the form of bliss and light, sending blessing, blessings from beyond to my son, my greatest love, to my son, my greatest love. I watched you, son, become a man and leave behind your palace. I watched you leave your wife and child, sobbing as you departed, sobbing as you departed. For six long years you sought the truth, your body worn and broken. I sent you strength, I sent you hope, kindling your determination. Beneath the tree, the Bodhi tree, I watched you sit in meditation. The morning star rose in the sky. It was your day of liberation. It was your day of liberation. My darling son, you had become a Buddha, pure and holy. I bow to you, my teacher true, my Buddha, my son. A homeless monk for 40 years, you taught a path of true compassion. Your wisdom shone throughout the land, free minds caught in delusion. Free minds caught in delusion. And as you lay beneath salt trees, old and wrinkled, golden hued, an herb-filled bag I flung to you to see if I could save you, to see if I could save you. And when you took your final breath, your peaceful parinirvana, I rose on clouds of mist to you to see you and to bless you, to see you and to bless you. In service to humanity, you lived a life of kindness. My lotus child, you had become Buddha, the awakened one. Buddha, the awakened one. A mother's love, it has no bounds. It transcends time, it is eternal. My love for you is such a love. It has no bounds, it is eternal. It has no bounds, it is eternal. Namu kye butsu, namu kye ho, namu kye so. We take refuge in the Buddha, we take refuge in the Dharma, we take refuge in the Sangha.